In nature, it's all about survival. Different animals have different techniques and adaptations to help them avoid danger. Some animals have size on their side. Some animals believe in safety in numbers. And some animals prefer to blend into their surroundings. That's quite a popular one, actually. Camouflage is one of the most widespread adaptations. Animals all over the world use this technique to hide from predators and to sneak up on prey. Even an animal that is high up on the food chain, like a cheetah, uses camouflage as a juvenile. That extra long, fluffy fur on their backs helps to conceal them from predators in the long grass. Which brings us to today's Wild Wonder. This one comes from Alana, a patient at Lady Salento Children's Hospital in Australia. Why are baby tapers born with stripes and spots and look like a watermelon? That's an excellent question, Alana, but before we answer that one, let's take a moment to appreciate just how adorable our baby taper is. Okay, so you're right, Alana, he does look a little bit like a watermelon, but why? Let's revisit our cheetah cubs for a second. Remember how they grow that long fur to help them camouflage? Tapers do the same. They grow a special fur to help them camouflage too. When a female bed's taper gives birth, she conceals her calf in leaves and vegetation beneath the dappled light of the forest. As the light filters through the trees, it creates scattered shadows on the ground, which mimics the pattern of the baby taper's fur, allowing the newborn calf to blend in, giving him a better chance of survival. Thank you for that concealment question, Alana. If you guys have any other wild wonders you'd like answered, head to our Zoo Kids Facebook page. Until then, I'm off to find some more camouflaged creatures. <laughs>